Officials from the Ministry of Health who were led by the Minister Dr. Jen Rutho Cheng and the Permanent Secretary Dr. Diana Twine today appeared by the Parliamentary Committee on Health to present their progress report for the year 2021-2022 and their proposed budget for the financial year 2022-2023. While appearing before the committee, Minister Cheng was questioned on the progress and status of the International Specialized Hospital in Nuboa, which is under construction. According to Dr. Cheng, construction of the hospital is still ongoing, although the construction was supposed to be completed in the year 2022. And uh, during our discussions, several amendments were made. And the Lubwa project, as I mentioned before, is on course. The minister also told the committee that many changes were made to the original plan of the hospital, hence the change in deadline. Some of the government documents were amended, including the extension of the period for the construction. A steering committee was put in place to follow up the construction works and a group of engineers, our own engineers, to supervise the work. The members of parliament sitting on the committee were not convinced with the minister's remarks, revealing that a lot needs to be revised. Now, to my disappointment, the so-called developer has now jumped into a coffee deal. She, she's moved from, she's, what is actually most, most important, Health, and she's jumped into coffee. And I understand she's right now, they are right now looking for another contractor. George Otim, a commissioner in the Ministry of Health, revealed that the investor, Enrica Pinetti of Finasi International Company, is still looking for a construction company to complete the works, and only 23% has so far been completed. They have also had their own challenges with the, uh, the contractor, Power China. The financial, and then they are both had financial issues, financial cash flow problems. As I speak, the work is at 23%. They requested for an extension of time. He also revealed that no money was gazetted to follow up the construction works. The government has not provided any funding for the supervision of that construction work. There's no supervisor doing the work. I am the owner, engineer, I am the commissioner. I don't stay at the site to approve works on a day-to-day -day basis. Recently, the State Minister for Finance, Henry Musasuzi, appeared before Parliament and requested for an additional $319 billion to aid in the construction and completion of International Specialized Hospital in Nuboa. The file was compiled by Sarah Nakandi and Adams Mayambala for CTV, PM Edition.